Vice President. You get quoted like. And the players going through their game preparation, making sure they're fully warmed up for the tip. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson alongside. David Aldridge is with us from the floor tonight. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. Irving on the wing along with Thompson. Big man on the floor for him. It'll be Washington and Gafford. And it's Doncic in a point guard. And for the Celtics. Holiday in the backcourt. To his side is White. The small and power forwards. The star pair of Brown and Tatum. And it's Brzingis and at the center locking down the middle. And it comes to teams that like pushing the break, Richard. Look no further than these two teams in front of us. I'm expecting a fun one here tonight, Kevin. Definitely not for the faint of heart. These teams love to get out and run. Now here's Thompson. Back to Doncic. From deep. Porzingis with the rebound. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. And that'll start us off already. You can feel the tension in this arena. And sometimes getting that first bucket puts momentum in your corner. But we'll just have to see. And so it's the Celtics getting on the board first. Thompson outside. Five on the clock. A three-pointer off the mark. And so White will bring it up for Boston. It's a three-point game. Holiday sets the pick for Brown. Holiday, the pass to Persingas. Back to Holiday. And the rejection by Gaffer. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Defensive foul. And you watch Jason Tatum. Year to year, he is a model of consistency across the board. The numbers are pretty similar, and the effort never wanes. Find the lane. Find the lane. No shot. And that one falls for Tatum. And Greg, at the time Kyrie joined Dallas, there were some questions around how he and Doncic would fit together. Yeah, well, Dallas needed another ball handler who could score and make plays for others. Doncic couldn't do it all by himself, especially in the postseason. Now they're trying to build around those two guys. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. For Boston, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. The Mavericks pull it in. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Doncic, no good. Just a, enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Here's Tatum. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. Tatum's got five now. What muscle on that finish. It's hard trying to prevent Tatum from converting. Irving finds Doncic over Holiday. That's good from Doncic on the assist by Irving. And that ends the struggle. You could feel the tensions in the building with each miss. Yeah, not the start that they wanted, but maybe that basket was all they needed to get into a little bit of a rhythm. Dallas has gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. He takes it in. Rebounded by Tatum. How did he break that one? He smoked it. Everything was set up for that to be an easy basket. Outside Holiday. Still looking for his first make after that miss. He's 0 for 2. Here's Thompson. And the call on the shot. It sends him to the line. That's on Jalen Brown. 
Now, it's someone you want to send to the foul line. Clay Thompson is nearly automatic from there. The Mavericks shooting their first free throws of the game. That one misses. Well, Thompson is known for that shooting ability, but deserves more recognition for his defense. He's got the size, the lateral quickness, and most importantly, the desire defensively. And he sinks the second. And for Clay Thompson, uh, Richard, he's entering a different part now of his career. And it happens to all of us. Father time is undefeated. But Clay's game, his ability to hit threes as an elite level, that is not going anywhere, Kevin. Boston, no good that time either. Average trail by five. Out to the wing. Washington kicks to Irving. Pass to Thompson. Fires the three. Offensive rebound, Mavericks. Gafford misses. I thought he had that all set up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Oh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. For Gafford. Richard, the Celtics have been among the NBA's elites for quite a while now. Well, they've been a title contender every year for almost a decade now. Even with several coaching changes over that time, they've been the model of consistency. Look, this dude is well built, man. He's, he's a specimen. He's six foot eight. Look, look, he's going to score inside if he gets that close. Timeout, timeout. And we've got a timeout called by Jason Kidd. Right. Looking for a breather and maybe just one or two things to talk about. against Doncic. Now, here's Gafford. T right on him. Six to shoot. Irving passes to Washington. 
Here's Doncic. That one go. Just count it. Doncic has got his second basket of the game. Guy is just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Now here's White. Hasn't made one yet. Oh, and there's the alley oop. Rebound, Boston. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Just go to show how tight your timing needs to be on this kind of play. Oh, taking it to the rack with power, hammering down the two hand slam. And it's the Mavericks with the ball, following the bucket by the Celtics. Back to Doncic. Drives it from nine. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Doncic has got six. White the pass to Persingas. White setting the pick for Tatum. And again, it's Boston converting. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Trailing by five. That's good, and it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. Guys, you never know what you'll see when you're watching Luka Doncic. His offensive creativity is through the roof. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. The Mavericks at last season's trade deadline added length by acquiring Daniel Gafford and P.J. Washington. Coach Jason Kidd says they help on both ends. Gafford has the ability to roll, has great hands. P.J. can put the ball on the floor and guard one through five. And then defensively, they both play physicality. Kevin? Maybe there is an argument to be made that was one of the best trades at midseason this league has seen in a very long time. GA, these Boston Celtics are unquestionably a top-tier offensive unit. Stupendous shooting, excellent instincts with the ball. Yeah, they are a model offense in many ways, making it tough for many teams to keep up with them. And that one falls for Tatum. Well, we know, G.A., the Mavs are so adept at hunting the matchups they want. They're patient and methodical. Yeah, they, they never look like they're in a rush, right? Even when you send a double or trap the ball, the Mavs stay calm and know where to go. It's what makes slowing down their pick and roll so difficult. And, R.J., the combination of Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown winning a title together. That's something else. There was some small talk going around about breaking them up. Good thing for the Celtic front office, they kept them both. In their first seven seasons as a duo, they have five trips to the conference final. That timeout, is timeout. a ridiculous one. And Jason Kidd is called timeout. He's ready to talk things through with the team. making a change here. Highways checked in. And 
the Mavericks with possession here. Seven point differential. Irving kicks to Thompson. Lively with it. Picked up by Brown. Dallas moving it around. Here's Irving. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. So smooth around the rim. I love how Kyrie just goes up with confidence knowing that he's going to figure it out. Oh, and here we go. Irving's got it. The fast break chance. A putback. Great positioning on the putback. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Had a chance to catch up with Joe Mazzula. Undoubtedly, their defensive focus is trying to limit Luka Doncic. Coach told me Luka is a great player who impacts the game on so many levels. No one has been able to shut him down. We just need to play with physicality and make him work for everything. We'll see how they handle one of the toughest matchups in the NBA. Guys? Thank you, David. Outside Holiday. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. And the Celtics lead by six. You gotta respect the range of Holiday if you're the D. Showing he can hurt you from that area. Irving kicks to Doncic. Pass to Irving. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Thompson. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. As long as there is time on the clock, Thompson has a chance. And here's Tatum for three. And Irving pulls it down. Mavericks trailed by four. Greg, you love this topic more than anyone when you think about the best ball handlers of all time. Where does Kyrie Irving rank on your list? Well, you know I think, Kevin, he's at the very top. I've never seen anyone else pull off some of the things he does. It certainly makes a strong case for the best ever. Pass to Brown. Back to Holiday. Tatum on the wing. That's tipped. And here is Doncic. He's got eight. Washington. He nails it. And we're tied up. Washington. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Screen by Porzingis. Holiday against Rifle. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Richard, so many things about Drew Holiday's game we love. But what impresses you most about his game? Well, I know it's an easy answer, but it's his defense. It's hard to be a feared defender in the modern NBA, Kevin. But Holiday is such a pest at all times on that end of the floor. Free throw good from Holiday. El Horford's checked in for Boston. Najee Marshall, he's checked in for the Mavericks. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. The Mavericks trailing. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Back to Doncic. Puts up a deep three. From beyond the arc and then some. Doncic has got 11 points. Seems like everyone's taking long threes these days, but Doncic has natural power in those legs. Generates range with ease. How about dueling from long range, just going at each other? Take that, he says. I see your three, and I'll raise you another three. Buried from outside. But I don't know. I think we may see a review here. That was pretty close. And indeed, they're going. The previous play is He beat the buzzer. And they're, they're making sure on this one, even though it may not matter in the grand scheme, but the replay process is faster than ever. You know, why not? After the review, the ruling on the floor 
is overturned. And the call is going to be overturned. The second look shows that he did, in fact, kick the clock. Yeah, they're glad they're going to get those points. It wasn't too long ago that they wouldn't even have looked at it on the monitor. But replays here, and it's here to stay for situations just like that. It's been all about Luka Doncic for the Dallas Mavericks. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We've got more in store for you right after this. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Mavericks. So far, they haven't had to force anything. They're swinging the ball around and turning good passing into points. You also have to admire how they've challenged the defense inside, getting a lot of points in the paint. Austin's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Tatum and Orford man the post positions. White in at shooting guard with Brown playing small forward. And it's Holiday in at the point. That's the Boston Five. Intelligent play by Tatum. Moving the ball to get an open shot. Thompson outside. Back to Doncic. Over Holiday. Rebound by the Celtics. And the defense was right on him there. Nice contest. Tatum kicks to Brown. Pass to White. Outside Tatum. Wide a screen on Doncic. Brown outside. Good. And it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got three assists in the game. Mavericks trail by four. Jits outside. And it's sent back by Horford. And it's still capable of being your defensive anchor. Horford is excellent at positioning himself to block shots. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for the Celtics? When you pile up the blocks earlier in games, it really can affect the other team. They lose confidence offensively. And, and let's also give them some credit for running the pick so well. They're making the most of their chances to score in transition. Kept alive. They need this. And it's Doncic missing. Austin leading by six. How about this run, Frank? They're on right now. Wow. I mean, they're just getting to their spots and executing. Really keeping things simple. The Mavericks have gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter. 0 for 5. And Jason Kidd is called timeout. He wants to check in with his team and regroup. And we've got our 2K insider, Shams Charania, on the line. Shams, watch the story. Thanks. Many consider this summer to be the most challenging field in the history of international basketball. Nevertheless, Team USA got it done in Paris. It's not getting any easier, but the star power of the U.S. men's team shines bright in the city of lights. Guys, a classic ending for a stacked U.S. roster. You're right. What a performance. Hey, Shams Charania with the report. Thanks, Shams.
Spencer Dinwiddie's checked in for Luka Doncic. Spencer Dinwiddie. Here's Washington. Five points in the game. Dinwiddie kicks to Washington. Lively sends a screen for Washington. Driving inside. And nothing is falling for him right now. Austin laden by eight. Tatum deciding where to go with it. Just five on the clock. The kick out to Brown. Fires the three. Mavericks with the rebound. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Pass to Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie sets the screen for Irving. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. And so Holiday will bring it up for Boston. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. And it's White missing. They're really on their heels at this point. Yeah, on both ends of the floor, Kevin. They've lost some confidence along the way. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Kevin, coming out of high school at six foot nothing, Derek White didn't receive any full scholarship offers. He says it was humbling, but it drove me to get better. Each time you have the doubter, you just put a little chip on your shoulder. The 29th pick overall in 2017 has come a long way. Kevin, those chips are still there. You're so right, David. Thanks. He's become a heck of a player. The Celtics have gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now. And they shot 81% from the line last Take season break. as a Take team. Break. So you, you really can't find fault with what they're able to do there. And he knocks down the first one. Austin making a switch here. Rosinkas has checked in. And Dallas with a change here, too. Marshall's checked in. Both free throws good from Drew Holiday. Mavericks trailed by eight. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Irving sets a screen for Washington. Makes it off the glass. Washington's got seven. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Irving against White. Irving surveying the floor. Good on that one. White with the defensive effort. Celtics leading by eight. And Derek White, he's one of the most valuable guards, Richard, in the NBA. White can play the one, he can shoot the ball, plus he is an all-league defender. So Derek White gives you everything you want in your backcourt. Now, Dinwiddie, after Jason Tatum missed on that last three-pointer. Taken away by Holiday. Here's Tatum. He's got 18. And Holiday kicks to Porzingis. The three from Tatum. Dinwiddie with the rebound. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Pass to Irving. The tray. Rebounded by the Celtics. Tatum's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Over in the corner. White. Brown outside. Trains it from beyond the arc. Brown's got the lead up to 11 now for the Celtics. Gotta love the confidence. Brown wasting no time firing away. Outside Irving. 
looking to end its cold spell, and the layup is good. Irving's got four points this quarter. A defensive breakdown there, no doubt about it. I mean, he's a guy you have to be focused on defensively. Holiday dishes to Tatum. Unloads from 13. And it's good off the back rim and in. Tatum's got 20. Okay, okay, listen. Tatum can strike from anywhere. The mid-range is an open option for him at all times. Here's Dinwiddie. Sweet little floater. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. Celtics leading by nine. And Holiday kicks to Brown. Trying to find Porzingis. Gets it to him. Outside Holiday. The three from Tatum. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Washington's got five rebounds tonight. He lobs it up. Hook loose. Pass to Irving. Plenty of space. And the Mavericks get another bucket right there. This is Irving's mentality. He understands that he is out there to shoot and shoot off, especially off the catch. Now here is Holiday. He has seven. A pass to Przingis. Stolen by Lively. Irving for three. Score the basket is fifth of the game. He's missed six shots against those five makes. A capable shooter from distance. Give Kyrie space to fire, and he does not pass it up. Outside Holiday. White finds Holiday. To the inside. Here's Brown. And then Brown with the dunk. I'm not going to lie. Jalen Brown, his hops are different. Average trail by six. Then Whitty surveying the floor. Outside Irving. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. You gotta like how Kyrie just commits to his selection. Even the foul, look, that's not gonna slow him down. It's his first trip to the line. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. First one falls for him. Something that really speaks to Kyrie's talent is his ability to impact the game the minute he steps on the floor. The game changes completely with the ball in his hands. Thompson, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Luka Doncic comes in for Spencer Dinwiddie. Both free throws, good from Kyrie Irving. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. Outside Holiday. Washington against Tatum. Porzingis sets the pick for Brown. Cranes the three-pointer. Brown's got 15 points. And so far, Brown has been dialed in and is showing no signs of letting up. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's on Porzingis. For Dallas, they have made three of five free throw attempts. Makes the first. And both free throws good for Lively. There's a minute 40 left to play in the first half. It's White on the wing, covered by Irving. Persingas with a screen on Irving. Tatum finds Holiday. Five to shoot. The Celtics need to get a shot off. And Tatum with the basket on the assist by Holiday. 
Tatum's got five points now in the quarter. Well, Tatum is the obvious option for the catch and shoot. He's such an efficient scorer. Outside Irving. Shoots over Brown. That's in, and the Celtic lead is cut down to just six points with the basket from Irving. Yeah, not a perfectly set screen there, but got him just enough room to get that shot off. Back to Brown. Holiday sets the pick for Brown. Hands it from downtown. Brown's got 18 points. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. Yeah, you got to know where he is at all times, especially when he's rolling around the perimeter ready to fire. Now, here's Thompson. He has five. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. And the dunk by Porzingis. The uh, textbook positioning there for Porzingis. Once he's established it, he's going to have the advantage and able to finish that one above the rim. Doncic against Holiday. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Doncic against Holiday. Stolen by Tatum. Jumps up. Jason Tatum making sure of that one. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into easy points. And so it's the Boston Celtics looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. They've kept the tempo quick and the defense on its heels. And it's gotten them up big. A chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just continue to get in the gym and uh, see some go in. It, it was good to see him go in early. And it was good to have us have a good start. Uh, hopefully we keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. The question now is, will the defense keep letting him punish them inside? Or did Coach have some new ideas for them? And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. On the floor right now for the Mavericks. And one forward, Thompson. And the other forward, Washington. The star backcourt, Doncic and Irving are the guard set. And it's Gafford in at the five spot. Let's it go from 14. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Tatum's got the first basket of the third quarter for the Celtics. Doncic passes to Gafford. White against Irving. Rebounded by the Celtics. Tatum's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. White against Thompson. There's White, seven points in the game. And here's Tatum for three. It's hauled in by Doncic. Outside Irving, taken away by Holiday. It's White on the wing. Back to Holiday. Brown outside. 
Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Brown's got 21. A consistent shot for him. Brown likes the three. Dodgers outside. Back to Irving. And he drives in. Can't cash in on the 10 foot jump. Celtics leading by 18. That's the Holiday. Takes the 13 footer. Here's Persingas. And the rejection by Gafford. Doncic looking it over. Gafford finds Washington. Dallas moving the ball around. And there's the whistle. Three second violation. Oh, costly error there. We'll see how they rebound from that miscue. Well, they don't have time to dwell on that. They just need to learn from their mistakes and move forward. Next play. Boston's gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Here's White. Rebounded by Gafford. Gafford's got his fourth rebound in this one. And Thompson kicks to Doncic. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luka Doncic. That'll be his second foul of the game. And way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Outside, White. To the middle. Here's Brown. It drops. That's his ninth field goal of the contest. A blistering hot nine for 11. Bustling that one in. JB is a strong out, individual. And Greg, we were talking Jalen Brown making the 2023 All-NBA second team. Uh, that was big for him, wasn't it? Yeah, Kevin, it made Jalen eligible for the Supermax signing for that five-year extension in July of 23. At the time, the largest contract in NBA history. It's gone now in the third quarter. And they double up Doncic from deep Washington. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. The Mavericks have gone five of seven from the free throw line in the game. free throw <laughs> 
He hits the second from the line. Now Tatum, 27 points for him. Brown outside. Outside Holiday. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Luka Doncic. A deceptive guard. Holiday draws fouls by keeping his defenders always on their heels over the course of the game. And the first one drops. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Average trail by 20. Thompson inside. White's there. Thompson passes to Gaffer. Outside Irving. Gafford is screen on Brown. Six on the shot clock. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Second team the Mavericks have shot 67% from the line, going 6 of 9. Take a break. Take a break. Two First free throw is good. Gafford cans them both. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Pass to Tatum. Back to Holiday. Brown with it. Porzingis sets the pick for Brown. Outside, Porzingis. Let's it go with a three. Clay Thompson grabs the miss. Thompson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Doncic. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And it's Washington missing. And here's White. He'll bring it up for Boston. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. Holiday up top. Back to Brown. from deep three-point land and another miss by Boston Mavericks trailed by 18 there's the lob to the hoop and Gafford throws it down chemistry at its best an unreal alley-oop yeah, you're right the pass the catch the dunk all of it perfect Washington against Tatum back to Brown Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Brown's got seven now in this quarter. A very athletic play by Brown. Getting the ball inside and working his way to a high percentage shot. Offered his screen on Hullet. And here's Doncic from the arc. Dallas keeping it alive. A fresh 14. Thompson dishes to Doncic. Gafford kicks to Doncic. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Thompson with the three. This is something that Clay works on all the time, even though he is already elite at it. He readies himself to fire once he catches that ball. Persingas with a screen on Doncic. Outside Tatum. Back to Holiday. 
from the arc. It's rebounded by Dallas. Donchich outside. Here's Washington. Porzingis with the block. And just backs off the floor to challenge shots. Porzingis, this helps him get a lot of blocks like that one. Marshall, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Celtics on D. They led the game at one point by 20. And they double up Doncic. Shot clock at five. Here's Irving. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for Boston. Oh, they've done a lot of damage in transition. Every time they see a chance to push the tempo, they're gone. And not just that. They're also forcing Take turnovers at a high rate and Take taking some. advantage in transition. That free throw good from Kyrie Irving. throws good from Kyrie Irving Austin leading by 13 outside Brzingis outside Tatum offline with his three and the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession an impressive athlete I like seeing Thompson take it inside and drop the hammer Outside Tatum. And Holiday kicks to Brown. Porzingis sets the pick for Brown. Busted. No good that time either. Average trailed by 11. Greg, you think about oversized point guards, and the gold standard has always been Magic Johnson. Now you look at Luka Doncic, and he's certainly big for that position. Definitely some positive similarities, right? But the big difference is one of those guys has five rings, and that's not a knock on Doncic. This is a team sport, but Magic's ability to affect winning was right there with another MJ, Michael Jordan. Al Horford's checked in for the Celtics. Smart anchor at passes, Greg, are really paying off for them at the moment. And also good off-ball movement. Everyone is paying attention and looking to create the best shot for the team. Looks for Holiday. Gets it to him. Yeah, credit Holiday for getting to the line on that one. With his quickness and length, I'd like to see him do that more often. The Celtics have gone 7 of 9 from the free throw line tonight. Free throw good from Holiday. Both free throws good from Holiday. Average trail by 13. Jitch passes to Marshall. And here's Irving. That ball. Great assist by Marshall. Marshall's got three assists now in this one. Well, they're getting stops. And they're attacking on the offensive end. All the momentum seems to be running in their favor. They're close to taking the lead. Here's Brown. And the basket is good. Brown's got 27 points. When Brown has the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous in the two-man game. Two minutes remaining the third. Two Outside minutes. Irving. The rebound by Holiday. Celtics leading by 12. Tatum down low. 
He's covered by Thompson. Tatum against Thompson. Tatum dishes to White. Four on the clock. Three-pointer. Luka Doncic grabs the miss. Doncic has got rebound number five here tonight. And Thompson kicks to Doncic. Irving a screen on Brown. Here's Marshall. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. The Mavericks have shot 10 of 13 from the free-throw line. And going back a season ago, they were a pretty average team at the line, about 76% altogether. What's up? Celtics leading by nine. Round with it. He's got 27. It's White on the wing. And the rejection by Cafford. Horford sets a screen for Tatum. That one goes in. Tatum's got 29. See, this is what Tatum is capable of. Look, look he is a sensational scorer. Like, yeah, we understand that. But when he gets into a rhythm. Woo. Pass to Doncic. Fires from deep. Rebound, Boston. White's got rebound number eight now on the night. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Celtics passing it around. Horford the pass to Tatum. Him. No good on the layup. Ah! Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Celtics lead by 11. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with his feet. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's an unguardable pass, flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And in the front court, Brown and Tatum. Then it's Holiday. Then there's Horford. And it's Pritchard in at the one spot. That's the Boston Five. Pass to Pritchard. Tatum with a screen on Irving. Now here's Brown. Let's it go from deep. Bangs home the trifecta. Brown's got 30 points. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Pass to Gafford. On its way from Irving for two. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. As soon as Irving gets going, huh, well, good luck trying to slow him. Looking flat out dominant right now. And Holiday kicks to Brown. Horford sets a screen for Brown. And finished off by Brown. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Irving passes to Washington. Back to Irving. Jacks up a three. Good on the three-point shot. Irving's got five points now in the quarter. How do you guard a shot from that deep? Well, let me tell you, Kyrie, he knows it's difficult. To the wing on the left. Brown kicks to Holland. Back to Brown. Pass to Tatum. 
Top of the key. And it's Boston with another. Oh, that's just a smooth jump shot. Tatum has such a deep arsenal. So many different ways to score. Thompson outside. Now Gafford. Irving with the ball. Gafford inside. Browns there. And the foul on Daniel Gafford. That is his first foul of the game. First personal foul. Celtics leading by 11. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Round the pass to Horford. Outside Tatum. Oh, and the jam by Tatum. One of the craziest dunks we've seen. Tatum with the bounce. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Pass to Washington. Marshall deciding where to go with it. And Irving launches it from deep. The Mavericks rebound. Yet another possession they've managed to hold on to. They are really in control on offense. And Jason Kidd is called timeout. There was no hesitating. He wants to talk to the team right now. has checked in. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hi, Kevin. Well, Jason Kidd going over the plan with his team for the last few minutes. Well, coach is frustrated with his guys. He let them know that the turnovers have to stop. He begged them to take better care of the ball. We'll see if they heeded the message. Kevin. Thanks, David. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Looking to get it going. It's good. Luka. Celtics leading by 11. Outside Holiday. Pass to Brown. A three ball. It's rebounded by Dallas. Donchich outside. Marshall with it. Donchich outside. Now Thompson launches it. And Pritchard pulls it down. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Brown outside. To the paint. Here's Tatum. And the dunk by Tatum. Oh, this is how aggressive Tatum is. Excellent job of getting to the rim and finished his light work. Pass to Washington. Buries the long-range jumper. Washington. Washington's got Three five points. points now in the quarter. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide-open threes like that. What are you doing? Horford with a screen on Washington. Washington against Tatum. Lock at six. 
fires away from outside. Rebounded by Gafford. Gafford's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Doncic, no good. Austin leading by 10. Tatum passes to Holiday. Driving the lane. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Great speed and tricks on the drive. Holiday excels at putting defenses in those compromising positions. Free throw good from Drew Holiday. Both free throws good from Holiday. And he's given them a good contribution at the line tonight, getting there a lot and delivering on his opportunities. Washington against Tatum. Washington kicks to Thompson. Gafford sets the pick for Washington. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Austin leading by 12. And here is Tatum. Horford with a screen on Washington. Washington against Tatum. Holiday has it in the corner. There's three pointers off the mark. Mavericks trail by 12. Marshall with it. Picked up by Brown. Pass to Doncic. Dallas moving the ball around. Gafford inside. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Tatum on the wing. Shot clock at six. Takes a three. Boston, no good that time either. And as long as he keeps missing from deep, the D will keep letting him fire away. He's just off from range right now. Thompson is double. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Brown. And here's Doncic from the arc. Shot's good. Marshall making the play. Marshall's got four assists in the game. And normally near the top, handling the ball. Luka sneaking out to the corner there, getting free for three. Inside. And it's Brown missing. And here's Marshall to bring it up for the Mavericks. They trail by nine points. to Gafford, out to Thompson, shoots the three, another three for Dallas. See, it's Clay's accuracy that makes him so hard to stop. He's a constant threat from range. Back to Tatum. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Doncic. Here's Pritchard, Horford. And it's Luka with the rebound. There wasn't a lot of resistance there at that rim. He just he just tricked off a little bunny. And they double up Doncic. From deep Washington. Down goes past the number six for him this game. He's taken 12 shots and made half of them. And certain guys dictate the pace of the game. Doncic as much as anyone. And so Joe Mazzula calls for the timeout. Clearly, he's got something his players need to hear. And immediately.
Jake White checked in for Pritchard. Celtics leading by three. Outside Holiday. At Dwight. Tatum against Washington. Pass to Brown. Over Marshall. And there's Brown. That's good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Stolen by Tatum. Outside White. Outside Horford. Brown with it. The three. Mavericks with the rebound. Doncic has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Marshall passes to Washington. Marshall dishes to Thompson. Gafford sets the pick for Thompson. Shoots over White. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut down to three on the bucket from Thompson. When it counts, you want to get the ball to Clay Thompson where he can do something special with it. Tatum with it. He's picked up by Doncic. Stolen by Washington. He lobs up the alley -oop pass, and Gafford throws it down. And how about the incredible timing on that alley -oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Now here's Tatum. Side, White. Horford sets a screen for White. From outside, off the mark. Here's Dallas. They're on an 18 to 6 run. Gafford, high post. A shot by Washington, and he's wide open. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Thompson against White. Down kicks to Horford. Back to Brown. Here's Tatum. He's covered closely. Just trying to shoot. It falls! Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. And we've got a timeout called by Jason Kidd. The magnitude at this juncture in the game clearly warranting a timeout. And let's get your take, guys. What's the strategy? Hey, they do have enough time here if they shoot quickly to get the two for one. We'll, we'll see if they try. against White. Thompson looking for an opening. And Tatum over to help. It's harder to thread those passes inside, but the reward is evident. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. They had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. And an intentional foul right there. 
Drops the first one, and that will put them up by two. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. Those were pressure-packed free throws, and he looked as cool as he could be. So big to give them that three-point lead. And Jason Kidd is called timeout. Coach clearly feeling the necessity to regroup with so much at stake here. Turning here to our analysts, what factors, guys, come to your mind? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Yeah, time is the enemy at this point. So I think I'd go for the tie and avoid playing the foul game. seconds left in the fourth quarter and wrestling for it there but no one has possession we'll have a jump ball and the whistle blows it's going to be on Luka Doncic and so he's picked up his final foul and he will sit for the rest of this game too First one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. Making no mistakes and putting some extra nails in the coffin right here. That pretty much do it. Marshall can't hit. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Even though he is capable of hitting that shot, I'd like to see him work for a better look in that situation. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. He's able to hit the second one, and that increases their lead to six. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one, and here's Marshall from the arc. That one, no good. So we see Boston get the win here. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just with the overall trust this group has in one another, what it mattered the most. Doing what had to be done and to send these fans home happy. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting for the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. 
Thanks very much, Jason. It was a struggle last time out, but tonight you were back on track. What was the difference? Uh, just got to have a short-term memory. Uh, sometimes shots just go in, but you always got to be aggressive and just make the right play. You like a cornerback in basketball. That's weird, but it got you a win tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you. All right, David, thanks so much. And that about wraps it up. Richard Jefferson, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching tonight's game on 2K Sports. And now we present the player of the game, Jason Tatum.